What's up YouTube? What's up everyone? I'm back with another video and today I'm going to talk about the first two episodes of the highly anticipated Netflix latest adaptation called Avatar The Last Airbender which the original Avatar Last Airbender aired in Nickelodeon. So currently I'm watching this with my parents so that's why like I don't think I'm going to be able to review each episode or react to each episode. Uh, so that's why I just want to give you my quick thoughts about the first two episodes and then probably I'm going to make another video when I'm going to be done with the show and let you know if my opinions change or you know like I want to see the evolution so first off Avatar The Last Airbender is um it's okay it's an okay show for now and I think that's the biggest problem that it's okay. So let me explain you why I think it's just an okay show. By the way, I also put a poll yesterday to see what are you guys thinking about it. And as for now, I see that a lot of you don't really like this show. Like uh, honestly, I would put myself in the it's it's a it's an okay show, but not more. Anyway, I was very surprised about that, those results. Probably like uh, this weekend and the next week. Probably it's gonna it's gonna be changing a little bit because people are still watching this little by little like me first of all but let me talk to you about quickly about like first of all the characters i think like i i do like the actors i think the actors are very great i think my standouts are probably zuko um katara i really love her and uh, the the actor who's portraying Sokka is really good. The actor who portrays Aang is very good as well. I think like all of them, they really, really capture a lot, especially the actor of Sokka. They really capture the characters that they're playing. Now, I think my biggest issues about this show, it's first of all, there are some changes that I think it's as an Atla fan, like I feel bad of always comparing this to the original but i think we have to because that's the source material that's what they're selling to us like hey do you want to relive once again what you liked before well come and watch our version of uh, avatar the last airbender of course we're going to be as faithful as possible but for sure there's some minor changes and that's always the case that's okay but it's just like there are some changes here that i feel like they're not really convincing me too much and one of them first of all let's talk about ang and Sokka. they're very serious now like I feel like they kind of skipped the, the, the kid aspect of those two characters. Also, I think they also said that Sokka won't be sexist like he was uh, in the previous, uh, in the OG animated. Which, that again, it's kind of part of his character development. But okay, I understand that part. But I don't understand why they they took off the kid aspect of Aang and Sokka. Like, they're, they're too goofball. Especially Aang. Aang is a kid. By, by the way, like, I'm watching this with my parents. My mom saw already Avatar The Last Airbender. My dad, it's his first time. And I remember, like, he was laughing so much. and But, like, he was enjoying it so much when Aang started to, to play in the second episode in the Kyoshi Island where he started to play with his famous air ball, you know? And then he knocks himself in the, in the statue. You know, but that's typical Aang, you know? Like, I... I know at one point people told me that Aang is a bit annoying, like he, he's too immature at one point, I mean he's a kid, it is true at one point you're like, okay Aang come on, like you're way too baby sometimes, but at least in the show, like show me a little bit of that, because that's Aang, you know, now it's just, Aang is serious, he's, he's put in this serious context and I don't really feel like he, he can live as a kid, you know, like whereas the, the original, he, he was a kid, you know, he could he was able to live a little bit of that of that life that he didn't have. Another thing I noticed it's that the original Avatar, when you watch it back, like it, it's very it's a very pa uh, it's a very fast show. Like events pass and you're you're already to the next event quite quickly, you know. Um, at least that's how I felt. And and then this one, it's even it's it's faster. So I kind of feel like we're. I kind of feel like they're trying to squeeze everything of the, the first season into the, the, the first season of the show. And of course, I think that's what they're going to adapt. But it's just like, I don't know, like it's... We, we finish, uh, we finish with, with the fights, let's go to the next town. We finish this, let's go. So it's kind of very fast. Like for me, it's, it's kind of a fast forward show just to, just to be able to cover as much as possible. And I don't know if I'm really enjoying that. Like I love seeing um, the... the the iconic scenes that happen in the show, the original show, but it's just like, I want to enjoy it, you know, like, this is just, you're showing this to me, and boom, let's go to the next one, because 
I'm showing you that I did it, and now let's skip to the to the next one because like it's like a race. I feel like it's 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 starting to be like a race to show you everything, and I don't know. At least that's how I feel, you know. By the way. This is just how I feel, that doesn't mean it's right, it's just my opinion. And I would love you to also give me your opinion on the comment section down below. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, why don't give a like? And also subscribe, we're almost at 500 subs. Now, the other thing that I, I'm a bit, I'm not really happy about, and that's one thing that I don't know why they changed this, it's the motivation of Aang. I don't know why they changed that. So in the original, Aang, by his own self, he leaves his duty of the avatar. He goes and and he froze himself. Like it wasn't like in in the show of Netflix, they made like it was it was an accident. Like Ang just went for a walk and then he came back and it was an accident. In the in the original show, it was so nice to see like Ang was carrying that burden inside of him during the whole time because he knows he really gave his back to his people you know like he's back to the world here it's like it was an accident so he feels kind of weird it's just like i don't know i don't know why was that change necessary because like so the events are everything is going as it was going but it's just the motivation is complete it's a bit different and that changes a lot to at least to me it changes a lot you know i'm like hey i don't think that uh, sorry i don't think that change was necessary and then it's kind of weird like why are we changing that that's something so crucial to Aang, you know, that, that that goes with his his anger, um, that, that's why like the Avatar state is very, uh, I remember he was very conflicted about that, because you have that in mind as well, but now it's just like, uh, he, was, he wasn't there, you know, he wasn't there, but it's not the same thing, you weren't there by accident, and you weren't there, but you did it on purpose, like, you know you weren't there, and because of you, people died, you know, it was your duty to protect them, so that was just weird. I, I I think what Netflix want they want to simplify a little bit this story and just really show it to 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 the fans, but also of course like to gather newcomers uh, that don't know the franchise. So I'm I'm okay with that. I'm like okay, I understand. Like I said, I found that curious. I needed to point that out, but I'm gonna respect it because I understand that we will always have some changes and yeah but these are the the changes that i don't i am not that comfortable but i'm still willing to to continue the show you know um and the last thing i wanted to point out it's the fact that well the cg is good and it's i don't know i think for me it's like a kind of a 50 50 like sometimes it kind of puts me back of the i don't know like that's something that netflix really have to try hard because also in one piece i remember very good show but sometimes the cj wasn't really there especially with the fight scenes here i have kind of a, the same issue like sometimes it's very good and sometimes i can i can see there's a green screen behind that kind of throws me away of some scenes sometimes i won't lie about that but overall i'm still enjoying this show like uh for someone who loved avatar the last airbender of course this is really nice to see uh th those iconic places those iconic moments these iconic characters and th that's a blast for me and for sure i'm going to continue but as i said for now i don't think it's better than Shyamalan yes it's better than the movie of Shyamalan but also that doesn't mean anything because Shyamalan movie is so low that just saying like uh, i did a better job than him it's not really saying too much it's like dragon ball they put a movie and they say it's better than Dragon Ball Evolution. Okay, good, but Dragon Ball Evolution is so low. Like the bar is really low. Like it's it, it doesn't take too much to beat it, you know? So that that's the thing. Um I'm not saying like this is really, really low. Like I said, for me it's a good show. It's just good, but not more than that for now. I'm gonna see later on if that opinion changes, but for now I'm enjoying it. But especially I think I'm enjoying it more because of my dad because my dad is a newcomer so every scene is just like wow he's like oh my god he's laughing he's like cheering so i'm really having this fun time through my dad because i'm seeing how he's having a good time and that makes me have a good time because i'm like well yes that's avatar the last airbender like that's how great they were on their script on their scenes on their character build-ups and things like that so so yeah but anyway definitely i'm going to say that you should definitely try it try it out uh, like I said, I'm still enjoying it. I'm not gonna lie about that. I'm enjoying it, but I thought it was going to be 
I thought I was going to love it more. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, guys, those were my quick little thoughts about Avatar The Last Airbender Episode 1 and in Episode 2 Warriors. Tell me in the comment section down below, please. What did you think about Avatar The Last Airbender? Are you enjoying it? Are you not? Who's your favorite character? Anyway, take care. Peace, everyone.